The Worcester County Health Department, in partnership with the Worcester County's Healthiest Maryland Businesses, presents monthly nutrition tips and fitness fit videos. These videos will feature simple and fun activities and recipes you can try at home. Our goal is to promote healthy eating and regular physical activity, which can reduce the risk for chronic health problems, such as type 2 diabetes and heart disease. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and remember to eat healthy, be active, and prevent diabetes today. Hi, my name is Zach Townsend with the Worcester County Health Department, and I'm here today with two special guests. And my name is Lorraine Castillo. I'm from the Senior Center. And Fran Nisley. So for today's workout, we're going to focus more so on the lower body. We're going to go through a hip complex, and then we're also going to work on our hamstrings for today. Okay, so for our first exercise of the day, we're going to focus on leg curls or a hamstring curl. And what we're going to be focusing on is that hamstring muscle, the back of our thigh. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with either leg that you want, okay? And we're trying to curl the leg up, bringing the heel to the back of the thigh, okay? Very good. And we can use a chair for support here. And what this is doing, this is strengthening that hamstring. A lot of times if you feel any type of lower back tightness or lower back pain, we can have weak or tight hamstrings, and that could be the cause of that. So this is very good to help strengthen those hamstrings out. Okay, so for our next exercise, we're going to focus on a hip complex. So we're focusing on those pelvis muscles. So what we're going to do, it's a combination of different muscles that we're going to be working here. But the first one that I'd like us to do, we're going to work on those hip extensors. So we're just going to take, have a little bit of a knee bend, okay? We don't want to have our knees locked out straight. Once again, using our chair here for support and balance, all right? And then we're going to take one leg at a time, and we're just going to extend back, okay? Very good. Just extending back. Try to keep the leg a little bit straight. Have a little bit of a knee bend. Very good. And we'll go ahead, we'll switch sides, and we'll repeat on the other leg. And same kind of thing, just going back. Very good. And let's do a few more. All right. So next up what we're going to do, we're going to move on to our hip abductors, okay? So this time we're going to take and we're going out to the side, all right? Now here's the key with this. I don't want you guys to go too far up with these. Only go to the point where you're comfortable with, okay? And you'll feel this right on those abductor muscles, which are right back here, okay, by the hip. Really good too, it helps prevent falls, it helps strengthen those hip muscles, so it's a great exercise to do. All right, so we're gonna go ahead once again, kinda use those chairs for support, have a little bit of a knee bend, all right, and now we're just kicking out to the side. Perfect, good job guys, you are pros. <laughs> Keep it up. Going out to the side. And we'll do one more. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll switch sides now, so we'll go ahead and switch sides. And repeat with our other leg. Once again, trying to maintain that little bit of a knee bend. Going out to the side. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> mm -mm. I don't know which way to go. <laughs> That's okay. Can you guys feel that right in this area? Oh, yeah. Good. It kind of feels good. Yeah, it's very good for the <laughs> hips. Helps to get those pelvic muscles working there. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to switch it up. So we've worked our extensors, we've worked our hip uh, abductors, so now we're going to work the hip flexors, okay? So that top part of the pelvis. So now what we're going to do, once again, keeping that chair or whatever we use for some balance and support there, we're going to kick out straight in front of us now, okay? Once again, only go as high as your carpet with, okay? So we're kicking straight out. Very good, right in front of you. And this is going to work those hip flexors, okay? Perfect. And let's go ahead, we'll switch legs, and we'll repeat on the other side. How you guys feeling? Good? Oh, yeah. Good, good. All right. Perfect. So these motions we can repeat for, you know, 12 to 15 times on each leg would be a good recommendation there. Okay, so with those hip exercises, as we start to progress, if you want to make it a little bit harder, we can use ankle weights. That'll add extra resistance, or we could just use some type of resistance band and wrap that around our ankles there, and that'll give us some extra resistance to make it a little bit harder for us. Now, for our last exercise of the day, we're going to do a calf raise, okay? So this is a pretty simple one where we're just going to go up on our toes, all right, and back down. Up on our toes, and once again, you can use a chair or a wall. You can use that for support and balance, but really working the calf muscles there, okay? Perfect, good job. And the same recommendations, we could do about 10 to 15 repetitions for these. Remember to eat healthy, be active, prevent diabetes today. 
For more information, call the Prevention Office at 410-632-0056 or you can visit our website at worcesterhealth.org.